Yeah, how are you all? This is Roger Cordia here again. This is a quick return in response to my previous video about the Dash Cordia Turbo EFI fuel injection bit, throttle body and stuff like that. Basically in this video I'm going to show you the differences between the two, the Dash injection and the 1.8 litre normal factory injection. You'll see by the pictures which I'll provide and you can go from there. Um, also, you know, right now because I got the factory 1.8 litre injection, my cylinders are receiving um, very lean air fuel ratios. So basically, my cylinders are getting lean and pistons and everything like that. So it's getting hot in here, so I'll just take it, just take my freaking stuff off. Hang on. Okay, it's getting so hot. I better take all my bandanas off and you know glasses. Yeah, uh, that's much better. Uh, a lot better now. Yeah, so as I was going back, um, in my previous video, I told you about some stuff. So, you'll see very, I'll show you the before, or how how the engine base would look like with the normal factory Cordia Turbo injection and the dash injection. Also, I just thought I'd like to mention that just recently I bought a Mitsubishi VR4 engine as well, the twin cam. With that engine, it's going to be fully modified. It's going to at least do 300 kilowatts and it's going to have around 400 horsepower. With the VR4, I have many options in regards to turbo combinations and just more reliability and efficiency because with the Cyclone Dash 2 liter turbo engine, there's only minimal turbos they can bolt on using only the one exhaust manifold where the VR4 has so many custom made exhaust manifolds so there's a lot of resources, a lot of parts from all over the places plus the intake side of it is multi-point so it'll be a lot easier modifying that because I can put in a lot of injection injectors, different size injectors and combinations like that and basically it's going to be fully ported the race head it's going to have cams, bottom end, rebuilds, it's going to have nitrous around 25 psi boost now I'm getting a little bit hot in here I'm gonna get a drink yeah it's a lot better the VR4 will be bulletproof, it's going to have, at the moment, the specs will be like um, Aries pistons, it's going to have crower rods, it's going to have no balance shafts, it's going to be bore 25 as normal oversized pistons, the cylinder head's going to be fully ported out and polished, oversized valves, um, what else, big injectors, around 880cc injectors, it's going to have after my computer of course and it's going to have my Zex wet nitrous oxide system so I'll be boosting it around 25 psi or more with my Zex kit and, I was and I'm guaranteed that the car will be able to do at least 300 kilowatts as a start with and that's with no nitrous still so with the nitrous you can just imagine how, far, how much power it's going to have so you know it's going to be a monster build going to be a VR4 quarter of that, like, you know, out of ordinary. Wait. Oh, long term. Um, yeah, so it, it's going to be a Cordia VR4 like no other. Like, there are only two VR4 Cordias around Sydney here that are so powerful. So, yeah, I'm going to have a very powerful Cordia very soon, so I'll definitely let everybody know. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.
i ja chcę mówić więcej, mój samochód bardzo prędki i może pobyć bardzo dużo ludzi, oni samochody. Ja poznałem bardzo niebdięte ludzi też. Check this out. Visit my YouTube videos.